Hey guys, just wanted to do another quick video tonight. I actually don't have time to, to get any work done here tonight, but uh, the epoxy is cured on my uh, my bushcraft model. So you can see it's kind of got some WD-40 on it now. That's what that gunk is. But um, but yeah, that's kind of the uh, the blade shape and the handle shape. You can see it a little better now uh, with the handles all together. Um, like I said, pretty slim overall. Still rounded down and everything, but uh, really nice. It's got a really nice deep... Uh, notch here for the finger so it actually really secured grip and especially with the little spot here for your pinky as well and then the reason that it extends so far out the back here sort of above the lanyard hole so that when you have it in your grip there's not like kind of the uh the tail of the knife isn't digging into your palm there so that gives you a nice flat shelf for you to uh rest that ball of your hand so uh, i don't know super comfortable it's got that fine grit um uh, scotch bright belt finish on it so once I you know hit it on the buffing wheel and get that WD-40 off it's got a really beautiful satin finish on it and then this is going to be for the fire steel you can see it's just the peel ply obviously still need to clean it up it's not really focusing but uh you can see it's got a really nice it's that medium texture I think and the alternating layer so then inside that <clears throat> I'll be putting um a fire steel probably this bigger one so it'll, you know, do something like that, and I'll shape the, uh, the little handle a bit as well. And the other thing I'm thinking, guys, the, kind of the reason I'm posting this video is to get your opinions on. I'm going to do a sheath for it, obviously, but I was thinking of doing a, uh, a Coyote Brown Kydex sheath instead of the, the standard black. So, I don't know, just to give you an idea, obviously this isn't Kydex, it's G10, but the color with the scales would look kind of like that as opposed to having the black sheath but um but then again I'm not sure because the fire still handles black so I don't know the hardware on the sheath will be black but I think a coyote tan kydex sheath that kind of matches with the liners and kind of goes with the uh, the burgundy of the scales would look pretty good but uh that's the blade the maker's mark will go up on the spine um which I left a little sharp and I still plan on putting a small notch in here which you'll be able to use to strike a fire steel as well so that package is coming along, like I said. Also, what's great about it is you can see the lines on the handle um, compared to the cutting edge. Where this, where your hand rests, kind of angles upwards, and then the blade's obviously flat. So it gives you that super ergonomic feel where it's a lot more natural when you're holding it in your hand. The blade edge um, is already kind of on the cutting surface, if you know what I mean. Um, so it's not like sometimes you see, it's kind of hard to film, with uh, with one hand you'll see a blade edge that actually kind of swoops up away from your, the angle of your hand which actually is counterproductive when you come to think of actually putting pressure downwards on a surface so where this one kind of has the angle that comes up and then down you actually get that super good uh, ergonomic feel and like I said with the uh, with the finger grooves there and the palm swell the way it is uh, super comfortable blade so anyway guys that's just a quick video on that the epoxy's done but it'll probably be tomorrow night before I have a chance to work on it um, there's a couple knives that I have on order, just waiting for some Kydex and stuff to finish those up. I should have a couple more shipments in this week, so uh, that's just sort of the quick update, guys. Oh, and another thing, I'm going to be giving a knife away. I think one of my Woodsman models here, you can see them. I've kind of been working on them. These are just the black micarta. They have different color scales. Once I get one of these done, I'm going to be giving it away. Uh, and kind of a, a big giveaway video thing coming up in probably, a, I don't know, three or four weeks. So stay tuned for that, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.